We can support those elements of the Turkish leadership that still exist and get more from them and embolden them to be able to take on and defeat Erdogan. What I think we should be doing is taking a very different approach to him now, making it clear that we support opposition leadership, making it clear that we are in a position where we have a way in which was was working for a while to integrate the Kurdish population who wanted to participate in the process in the in the con in, in, in their parliament, etc. Because we have to speak out about what we in fact think are wrong. He has to pay a price. He has to pay a price for whether or not we're going to continue to sell certain weapons to him. In fact, if he has the air defense system that they're flying F-15 through to see how they can try to figure out how to do it. So I'm very concerned about it. I'm very concerned about it. But I'm still of the view that if we were to engage more directly like I was doing with them, that we can support those elements of the Turkish leadership that still exist and get more from them and embolden them to be able to take on and defeat Erdogan, not by a coup, not by a coup, but by the electoral process. We have to make it clear that if they're looking to, because at the end of the day, Turkey doesn't want to have to rely on Russia. They've had a bite out of that apple a long time ago, but they're going to understand that we're not going to continue to play with them the way we have. So I am very concerned. I am very concerned. I'm very concerned about our airfields and access to them as well. And I think it takes an awful lot of work for us to be able to get together with our allies in the region and deal with how we isolate his actions in the region, particularly in the Eastern Mediterranean relating to oil and a whole range of other things which take too long to win.